Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard their point. Now, hear the counterpoint on Libertarian Counterpoint Podcasts. Welcome to the Knuckleheads of Liberty Podcast, uh, formerly Libertarian Counterpoint Podcast. We're coming at you with, uh, you know, some of the news of the day. It is uh, January 27th, 2021. We're about, about a week or so into the Biden administration, and so all kinds of crazy stuff to talk about. But one of the things we wanted to jump into and focus on this week was peaceful protesting because after the Capitol protest and all the protesting that we've had in 2020 uh, it might be instructive to learn a little bit about peaceful protesting but before we jump into that let me introduce you to our panel up in our upper left hand corner we have Leon the word Brathwaite last word in Liberty Uh, he is a retired engineer from the state of California and in our upper right hand corner we have our screaming eagle of freedom Tim Everett a pilot retired (laughs) he is a pilot in the state of california (laughs) and my name is jason mcphee and i will be your host today uh so again getting right into peaceful protests you know we've had probably the craziest protests in the over the last year or so that our country has had in a long time you know for you know between the blm uh and protests and now this sort of culminated at the end of the election of course uh in in the transition to power in the uh, riot on the capitol so these are you know strained times and we seem to have a lot of trouble with definitions a lot of this is because of the media playing with definitions uh calling things peaceful protest constantly or mostly peaceful protest and, uh, you know, main offender of that seems to be CNN seems to be leading the charge on that. And so this is sort of a primer to help folks at CNN and others in the media try and understand what a peaceful protest is <laughs> and what isn't a peaceful protest. So we're going to go through kind of a lot of what happened over the last year and kind of try and identify things that we think and, and maybe discuss them a little amongst ourselves because maybe we won't all agree either, but we'll try and discuss it a little amongst ourselves to try and get out what is and isn't a peaceful protest. Um, so I'm going to share a series of pictures with you. And for those of you listening, I'll try and describe them as well uh, if you can't see the pictures. So I'm going to start here with a get my screen share going. And we are pulling up a picture. And um, I guess we will see it shared on the screen. So, okay, here we go. It is now on the screen. So um, <clears throat> what, what's shown here, for those of you who can't see, this is actually a uh, protest scene from back in the days of Martin Luther King when they were, uh, you know, there were a lot of protests back then as well, but they were mostly peaceful protests, or at least from the protesters' side, they were mostly peaceful. Um, and this is a particular scene where the, it is the government brandishing arms against the protesters, all pointing rifles and bayonets at a bunch of people who are walking down the sidewalk with, uh, signs that say i am a man on them and they're uh, walking they were pe- the and they were peaceful eh? they were peaceful they that yeah, certainly yes. appears so from the picture so and th- this yeah. is you know peaceful protesting um and and maybe a lack of a civility on the government side of things in this you might say uh, literally pointing weapons at people who are just simply saying i am a man so, you know, it's hard to imagine something more sinister from government in that, in that case. Uh, but don't, it, don't, forget, don't forget the tanks in the background. Or yes. The, <laughs> yes, right. Yes. They're actually not tanks, uh, but they're armored personnel carriers or something carriers. with yes. tracks in yeah. the background. Yeah. So, and I think this is, you know, kind of what peaceful protesting should aspire to. It is to get a message to people to say, what you want to say, use your freedom of speech without trampling other people's rights. I think that's what we should be aiming for when we are looking to protest and and uh, peacefully demonstrate uh, for a cause. And uh, but you know what we've been kind of gaslighted, I think, over the last year into what peaceful protesting is with all kinds of messages. In fact, even uh, CNN anchor Chris Cuomo telling people 
who said protests have to be peaceful. Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. And he apparently uh, lost the script because CNN has been telling us that these have been peaceful protests, yes. and somehow he, he lost the, the script over there. <laughs> yeah, and let's, let's not forget that Chris Cuomo is the brother of the current governor of New York and the son of a former governor of New York. But yet he's telling us that he don't know where it says that we should peaceably assemble. Yeah. Well, so let's get into some of the examples of what is not a peaceful protest. So moving on to uh, this picture, I think you guys all recognize this. We've certainly been uh, I give you guys one guess. Uh, what is this picture for those of the people who are <laughs> are not able to see it? Is this not Portland? N no, actually, this is the Capitol riot. So this yeah. is oh. a, a picture of oh, the right. protesters. Yeah, in fact, you can even see somebody with a Trump uh, sign oh, trying yes, to push their yes, way yes, past yes. a security yeah. guard, it looks like, uh, trying yes. to break into the Capitol. Yes. Well, so, you can you can tell it's uh, the Trumpers, uh, Trumpers, because they have American flags and an American flag hat. Oh and yes, so on, so, yeah. That, that, yeah, that definitely would not have been Portland, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. true. But despite whether or not you agree with the message or the the, the their points or not, the, the issue is here is a security guard trying to uh, you know hold the line on. Uh, against trespassing and a bunch of people trying to push their way past him. Uh, certainly there was more violence than that at the, the Capitol. I, I think one police officer was even, um, you know, he wasn't intentionally killed, but accidentally killed, I think, when uh, yes. he was injured there. And then he went to the hospital and died later, I think, yes. of a heart attack or something. Uh, so, but, but the bottom line is, you know, this is when things start to get out of control, when things become maybe not so peaceful. And I, you know, strangely, CNN identified this one correctly as not a peaceful protest. <laughs> no, the, within, within, within two minutes, within two minutes of the, of the, of the rioting on the, uh, 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 in the capital, CNN was telling us it was an insurrection. Yeah. Even though all summer long, they were telling us about the most, mostly peaceful protests. Including the night that they told us it was a mostly peaceful protest when they tr when protesters Antifa and probably BLM tried to set a federal building on fire with people inside of it, and they told yeah. it was a mostly peaceful protest. This is CNN. Yeah. This is this is their 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 nauseating hypocrisy. And we'll actually get to one of those pictures too coming up. I don't think we shows the fire, but it does show some of those particular protesters in Portland. Uh, but anyways, so. Uh, as we move on through the pictures, uh, one of the first rules, I think, of a peaceful protest is that a peaceful protest should not trump other people's rights as well. And in this case, some people might look at this and say, hey, look, this is a peaceful protest. You see a bunch of people just sitting on a freeway. They're not actually trying to hurt anybody. However, I, I, one of the problems I have with this is that those people in those cars also have the right to peacefully pass. And once you start blocking other people's rights, are you truly a peaceful protester at that point? And maybe this is one we'll have a little discussion or back and forth on. But uh, to me, it seems, you know, like, if, well, what if you put a ring around somebody's house and you peacefully, you know, stand there and don't let them pass? Is that peaceful? And I think if you are, if you can't consistently have these rights, at the same time, if, if I can't exercise my right while you exercise your right, it seems to me that you're aggressing on me if you're not allowing me to peacefully pass. So I don't know if you guys uh, have any thoughts on that or not, but this well, is... Well, I, I may see this slightly different, okay? I mean, I, I'm no, I'm no fan, fan of BLM, but anytime we are protesting, I am talking about protesting, okay? I'm talking about the constitutional right, okay? It is done on, on public on public property. It always infringes on the rights of other people, uh, whether it's just walking to go to a grocery store, or whether it's um, driving a car down a major a major street in a city where protesting is occurring. I can't see how this would be any different. Now I don't like what was happening over the summer, obviously, but we are talking about this particular picture here where they are impeding the movement of traffic from one point of a city to our next. So I don't know how this would be different from 
any peaceful protest in any street, in any public street, anywhere in our country. Uh, yeah, to um, to add to the description, it's top down look at, at a freeway from like an not a necessarily an overpass, but it's got uh, a row of people that are lined across, uh, looks like two lanes of freeway separated with a guardrail on and a wall on both sides. Behind the people is the is written on the uh, the the concrete of the of the freeway BLM. You can actually see part of the M there. And so uh, yes. apparently this is uh, in uh, in support of Black Lives Matter. And the, um, the See, it about, also happened on Martin Luther King Day as well. So this was a protest oh, on okay. Martin Luther King yes. Day this year. And in the First Amendment, one of the rights that's uh, that's uh, noted in the First Amendment is the right peaceably to assemble. So I looked up what is um, the. Uh, uh, definition of the word peaceably, and now I got to run it. Okay, if you do something peaceably, you do it quietly or peacefully without violence or anger. So, uh, uh, to avoid strife or dissension, not argumentative or hostile. So, I would as assume that you know, um, uh, they're certainly uh, maybe just laying, you know, sitting on the, the freeway in itself, the act is not a, an act of, of violence, but it, what it does is it, it prevents the motion of people that have, have all the right in the world to uh, exercise the right of mobility, and they're, they're preventing that, you know, as, as a means of, oh, look at, you know, look, look at our issue here and uh, pay attention to us. And so, you know, again, it's, it's not like the people walking on a, a street carrying a sign, even even uh, under the threat of uh, bayonets. You know, nobody nobody likes to have a bayonet pointed at them, let alone a gun. Sure. And uh, so, um, yeah, the, the, well, maybe it's worse for these people because they could be run over. And uh, it's true. It's, uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, but again, I mean, they're just um, infringing on other people's rights in this picture. Well, this brings up another question, too, because a lot of uh, protests, too, need to be permitted if they are on public property as well. So, I mean, this is not necessarily a right that is is out and out allowed by the government unless you literally are, are permitted uh, to exactly avoid issues like this, where people will literally be infringing upon other people's rights on a freeway to pass. And let me go to the next image, because I think that no, before, but, no Jason, okay. before, before we leave well, this. Well, this is the same uh, image. I mean, it's just an image okay. of protesters in Seattle blocking the freeway at another time of the year back in 2020 as well. So do you need that prior image as well, uh, Leon, to make your point? No, I don't, do you... I don't need the, I don't need, need, okay. need the image per se to make the point. Okay. I, I just don't understand why we are trying to make a distinction. Now, I am, I am only dealing with legitimately peaceful protests here, okay? I don't know why we would make a distinction between people infringing on, if I decide that I wanted to go down downtown, my, my little town here, people are protesting and that kind of stuff. I may not be able to get to the grocery. That is a clear infringement of my right, but the protest itself may be a peaceful protest. And mm -hmm. here on the freeway, now that's an act of stupidity, okay, quite frankly. It's an but act of stupidity. Help. But how would still, this not be peaceful? That's that's the distinction, I guess. How would this not be peaceful? Exactly. By the, that is okay. what I'm trying to get. Why it is not not a peaceful protest? Just like if they were walking on public property in downtown in in downtown Grover Beach, and I'm trying to get to the grocery store, and I cannot because I can't cross the street because a whole bunch of people walking down the street marching on some issue. Now BLM have done a lot of crap over the summer, but on this particular issue, I don't see how this is not a peaceful protest. I, I cannot see that. Well, and this is, I think, where from a libertarian point of view, when you block somebody else's right, then that is an act of aggression, I think. you know. So if somebody literally keeps you from moving, let's say people formed a ring around you, Leon, would that- Wait, if, on, on, my own, on my property? Well, suppose you property? got out on the street and they formed a ring around you. 
Uh, okay. So once you're on the sidewalk, at that point, okay. if, if they don't aggress against you, I mean, as far as they don't push you, but they form a ring and they won't move and then you can't move. Have they not aggressed on your right to peacefully pass them? Well, that, well, if they form a ring around me, if there are other people mm -hmm. out there and, and they form a ring among, uh, around me personally, then that's an act of, of aggression against me. That well, will not be a peaceful protest. But, but they yeah. stand on a freeway. They make no distinction of who they're trying to block. They're blocking anybody who is on that freeway. So I do not see how that could not be a peaceful protest. It, so, as far as I'm concerned, they're sitting on the freeway. I mean, it's an act of stupidity because okay. it could be run over, truthfully. It's an act of stupidity, but they are sitting there peacefully. They are blocking everybody. All protests block somebody. Every protest, every any public protest, anytime you're on public property, you are blocking somebody from doing something. Okay, that's why the streets are blocked off. That's why you may even have police out there. If it's, even if it's a peaceful protest, the police is out there to make sure that everything goes fine. But, but that's that's that, that's exactly the the point, though, Leon. Is that in these cases they weren't permitted? There were no police out there to make sure everything went fine, and they were literally blocking other people. Now, suppose there was somebody coming through here in an ambulance, uh, with somebody who had to get to the hospital, and are they supposed to turn around and go back against traffic with cars coming against them to get off the freeway? Or I mean, how are they supposed to uh, exercise their right to peacefully pass? Because this essentially is forming a ring around somebody, right? I mean, you literally can't pass. So, you know, well, in, in this case. Well, well, just you, you, your very premise I have a problem with. You said they were not permitted. I don't believe the government should permit us in the exercise of our constitutional rights. I don't believe that. And I, as a libertarian, I don't think you should either. But, you know, that's up to you. I don't want to impose my views upon you. But the government should not be permitting us to execute, execute to, to exercise our constitutional rights. My right of free speech. The government should not be telling me, well, Leon, you could talk today and you can't talk tomorrow. No. Well, I, I so think even though even though your point is valid about say if 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 for instance we had um some emergency situation where uh an ambulance wanted to go by to get somebody to hospital, even though I will accept that point, it 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 will create a life and death situation. But I cannot see how that Stupid act, very stupid as far as I'm concerned, is not a peaceful protest because it impedes upon people's rights of mobility. Every peaceful protest does that. I, I think this is this is part of the, I guess, point of government is it's when our individual rights cross over other people's individual rights, right? I mean, it's sort of those commons areas, right? And so sure. uh, in, in this particular case, if you are literally stopping somebody else's right to freely pass, in this particular case, now the, the new image we have up here is an image from Seattle, but it's at night on the freeway where peaceful protesters supposedly <laughs> came out on the freeway, blocked traffic, and actually got somebody killed. One of the protesters died because a person came down the on-ramp, was coming around the bend, <clears throat> was driving at freeway speeds, did not see them in time, and crashed into one of the protesters, killing him. And that protester, I believe, was charged with murder. I don't know if they were convicted, but they were charged. The, protest, and the protester was charged? Or the, or no, the, no, no, no. The, excuse me, the driver. The driver, the driver of the vehicle. Okay. 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 And the driver of the vehicle was exercising his right to peacefully pass, and he may have even been trying to stop. I'm not sure uh he did kill one of the protesters but he was driving on a freeway at night where you would your expectation would be that you can drive on a freeway at night <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly you've got people out there in some kind of a cause that's in violation of the law because yeah. they are not supposed to be out there at that point uh so i i don't know i mean to me it seems like at this point it's not peaceful if it is literally infringing upon everybody else's rights i don't know you guys, well, well, uh, uh, Tim, go ahead. I'm sorry, Tim. I, I've been talking too much. Go ahead. Tim. Uh, I, I I understand Leon's uh, view. I mean, they're they're not aggressively uh, doing something to uh, to you know to damage property or to hurt someone by by you know laying themselves out or standing on the freeway. I, I get that it's not. It's, it looks peaceful. Okay, so that part, I, I agree with Leon. I also agree uh, with Jason um, that, yes, it's a, 
it's a, aggressive in the sense that it, it is something, it's an act that stops people from their freedom of mobility, which is one of our most basic uh, freedoms. And I get that Leon's correct. If you're, if you're uh, forming uh, in any space, uh, you're, t- you're occupying that space that someone else cannot now occupy. And it's, it's most likely in a public venue of right. one, one sort or another. Um, it's, you know, and then I get what Leon's saying too, that it's really stupid because it's, it's, uh, endangering everybody by being in a place that normally has speeding vehicles. And that's kind of stupid to, to put it there. So their selection of a place to a venue is, is a stupid selection. And, um, you know, it's, it's not going to further their agenda because it's just going to anger the people that are trying to pass through and and so on but it gets their attention it gets the attention of the people and it gets on the news and so on and so forth and uh so uh, maybe we're splitting hairs here a little bit uh, about what is and is not peaceful and and so on but uh and that's it that's all i'm saying i'm just kind of like at this point i'm kind of sounding like a referee or a, a <laughs> impartial <laughs> impartial <laughs> judge you know, I, I think this is important, though, because, you know, we don't have this kind of discussion going on in other places. And clearly, even among us, who we all consider ourselves fairly liberty minded folks, yes. we all have a different idea here on exactly what is peaceful. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, this is instructive, you know, and, and you know, who, who knows, maybe maybe it'll pull CNN a little ways. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, sure. Don't hold your breath. I was going to say, I don't think CNN's going to, if, even if they were listening, I don't, I don't think they, they're worried about ratings. Uh, and if they can, right. the more, <laughs> you know, the more they can say stupid things like mostly peaceful protesting and get people yeah. all riled up about, yeah. oh my God, I can't believe what they just said. The more people are going to watch, you know, That's I mean, right. you know, maybe we should be a little more riling and That's right. uh, yeah, angry. There we go. Here. There we you go. Know, I don't know. <laughs> we should we should be stupid like Chris Cuomo yeah. and say, show me where it says where any protest have to be peaceful. Yeah. Just yeah. Keep it like <laughs> exactly. I could show him where it is. It's in the First Amendment. Uh that's right. Chris. That's, right. Uh, that's where it says it right there. Pe- peacefully uh protesting. So anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, let, peaceful let's assembly. Let's move assembly. on to our next uh, uh, image, because it brings up a slightly different point. And I think there's a fair chance we are going to, uh, you know, wind up having to go into an overtime for this show because I don't think we're going to make it on time. Okay. So uh, we have a few. Now, this this image is in Portland. So you were talking about the uh, people lighting the federal building on fire in Portland. This particular image is not from that specific riot, but it is from... Uh, a situation that happened, uh, I believe, in August of 2020, where BLM or Antifa, I'm not sure which, protesters were trying to set a police station on fire. And while they were doing this, a couple of older uh, senior citizens uh, came up and they tried to essentially uh, put the fires out in the garbage cans that they were lighting outside the place. Uh, they, They did a few other efforts to try and light the place on fire too. But uh, while these two senior citizens came up doing that, essentially peacefully protesting their protest by trying to put the fires out, uh, they were pelted with paint and screamed at. As you can see, this uh, you know this gal looks like she must be in her seventies, maybe, and yeah. she is literally being confronted by a crowd screaming at her and throwing stuff on her. So I, I you know, to me, that's again they they haven't hit her. Uh, they, they did uh, trespass on her body by throwing paint at her, but suppose they didn't throw the paint on her. Uh, are they peacefully protesting, um, you know, in the way that they're addressing this uh, 70-year-old lady who is simply exercising her right to try and put the fire out on a public building? <laughs> well, if, if, I could, if I could go first about sure. this, I would first sure. of all like to say if Chris Cuomo was describing our podcast, he would call it a mostly on time podcast. <laughs> and uh, Chris Cuomo well, is flipping already. Yeah, and, we have a uh, comment. It said Chris Cuomo is flipping already. Yeah, he's flipping already. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's, yeah, we, because of our influence. I, I yeah, no doubt I'm about sure. it. Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if, um, yeah, I, I can 
I can see any type of uh, physical aggression. I mean, to me, a pro- here's what a protest is: you, you get a whole bunch of people, and somebody's up there on a microphone, and they're, comp- you know, they're they're laying out their their complaints and so on, and people are listening and cheering or booing or whatever it is, and that's the end of it. I mean, you know, there's no throw. There, you don't have paint. I mean, who take who? Okay, I'm going to carry paint around to the protests. Okay, it's like okay, I'm bringing a gun to the protest. No. Don't do that. And, I, you know, and I'm going to wear a helmet and I'm going to yell at some old lady who's uh, a foot and a half shorter than I am and uh, 30 years my senior. I mean, it's yes, that's that's non peaceful. If you ask me. Go ahead, Leon. No, I was just going to say, I mean, everything about this picture is, a, is an act of aggression. There, there's no way you could even call this protest. OK, mm-hmm. protest is a constitutional right, but it implies peace. That it must be peaceful in your in your actions. This does not imply any of that. Yeah, so there's no the way you could any. I mean, despite CNN and MSNBC telling us it was mostly peaceful, we know it's not. Yeah. It's, it's a lie. Apparently, okay? Nadley, uh, the guy from the uh, I can't remember his first name, but uh, uh, Congressman Nadley didn't even Nadler. know or wouldn't even acknowledge that anything was happening in Portland while all this was going on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he hadn't heard about that. I guess he'd been watching CNN. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Mostly peaceful. Mostly peaceful. Well, you know, I, you know, we're starting to get close on our time. I'm going to go to the next image, and then I think maybe what we'll do is we'll carry this over onto the next show uh, as a okay. part two on the same image. All right. uh, but on this image, now, we have uh, Rand Paul as he came out of a uh, pre-election uh, convention i guess for the uh yeah i guess it was the re- republican convention i think it was right. the end yes. trump, trump yeah. just gave me a speech at the rnc yeah. convention yes and so this was uh Rand paul trying to get back to his hotel after leaving now the hotel was right across the street but he couldn't actually get to his hotel because a bunch of peaceful protesters were as in the case earlier where we we're talking about the freeway literally blocking his path to his hotel so there was no possible way for him to get to his hotel to go to sleep now he was lit initially bust out with a bunch of other people uh it, you know because i guess they figured the protesters would get out of the way of the bus i don't know but by secret yeah. service they yes. were bused to a place that was over a mile away and then he took a taxi back to try to get back to his hotel but within he the taxi would not get within two or three blocks of the hotel because of the protesters so yeah. he had to walk and during his walk uh, they were pushed, uh, or they, uh, the crowd saw him, they gathered around him, and for, fortunately for him, a few police officers uh, were able to form a barricade between him and the crowd while they were being screamed at. But um, I think we're right near the end of the show, so uh, let's let's break on this one, and we will get back on a part two for peaceful protesting. Uh, so uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we'll be right back with our next show. Thank you so, so much for joining us, and we hope you'll join us again on our next discussion, on our part two discussion of peaceful protesting. Thank you. 